Okay, before I head over, let me show you where the belt line eventually will come out. Remember I said when the construction is done on the apartments, it's going to come out through here. Well, right through there, there's the end of the, the sidewalk. It's going to come out right over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cross this intersection diagonally. That's why they put that new crosswalk that goes across the center there. This is called a pedestrian scramble. And if you look right here, they've just installed some new um, lighting systems. These are going to be user activated that you punch it and it stops uh, traffic in all four directions. In fact, that may be, you know, I don't think it's open yet. They've still got covers on the lights. But anyway, that's the idea here. Okay, so again, getting back to our temporary solution. We came up the Edgewood Avenue uh, ramp or stairs. We went east one block to Crog Street. We turned right on Crog Street. That's heading south toward the Crog Tunnel, which is right here in front of me. And then you're going to cross over this intersection here in a minute. And I'm going to actually simulate what it's like to go across. I can't cross over diagonally, but let me see what I can do here. I'll tell you what, I'll go across the cab first and then up because the trail actually continues on this side in that sidewalk right there. That'll become more evident here in a second. Okay, so the light's changing here. This is a very, very dicey intersection, so you have to be very, very careful here. Regardless of how you cross. Okay, so this is the continuation of the trail right here. It's a little dark in here right now. It doesn't look like the lights are working during the day. They're not working at all, actually. But uh, anyway, I'm inside the Krog Tunnel, and this eastern sidewalk, the east wall of the tunnel, is the, the Beltline Trail. And you can see how dark it is in here. This is really pretty dark. Hey, man. Sorry. That guy wouldn't, he literally wasn't even paying attention walking through the tunnel. So that's, that's the problem. We're not quite ready for prime time here in Atlanta. But anyway, so you come through the tunnel and the trail, the, the Beltline Trail, actually continues here to the left. This is Wiley Street. I just entered Cabbage Town. Looks like they've got the path closed up there for some... The lights weren't working, so I don't know if that's what they're doing, but they're working on something. So Wiley Street right here goes east, and this trail right here, which is a 10-foot trail, the regular, um, the regular Beltline Trail is 14 feet normally, but they didn't have enough room here, so they, they basically expanded the sidewalk here on Wiley Street, and it goes all the way down to Stein Steel, and then it turns right, and then the ton and then the corridor and the new trail continues on down to Kirkwood Avenue. Okay, so that's one option when you get through the tunnel is to go left and continue on the trail. The other option, which I think is a little more interesting, is to take a right when you come out of the tunnel. And I'll show you why in a minute. Check this out. This is Wiley Street again. There's 97 Astoria bar and restaurant. But this wall over here on my right that holds up Holsey Yard is the famous wall that's in Cabbage Town where all the murals are. And we'll see more of that down the road here. But uh, so I'm going down Wiley Street now. I'm going west toward the Fulton Bag and Cotton Mill where the, the lofts, the stacks are. And um, you'll see that in a minute too. But the reason I think it's more interesting is you can ride through the streets of Cabbage Town, which is pretty interesting. It's an old mill town. It's where mill workers lived. It worked in that cotton mill. That was called the Fulton Bag and Cotton Mill in the late 1800s and early 1900s. And the people that moved to Atlanta to work in the cotton mill basically settled in this area. And they settled into what's called Cabbage Town. And there's another town the neighborhood called Reynolds Town. It was back that way if we had taken that left and stayed on the Beltline. But you can see how quaint Cabbage Town is. These are all homes that were built for, again, mill workers that uh, lived here and worked in that cotton mill. So you come down here and right here at the end of Wiley Street, actually it just turned into Tennell, I think it is. Yeah. Tennell, and then Tennell actually turns into Carroll Street. If I'm going to turn left right here, 
you'll see. Hello. Howdy. How's it going? Uh, this is Carroll Street right here, which is where there's some shops and restaurants. Well, mostly restaurants and bars, like Milltown Tavern, the Old Cabbage Pie, which might be closed by now, but uh, Carroll Street Cafe. That's really about it. Oh, there's Little's, Little's uh, store. So anyway, I'm gonna stop and have a beer, but uh, that's, this is to me, this is the, 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 the pot at the end of the rainbow. If you come through the Croc Street Bridge, this is, this is the place to be right here on Carroll Street. This is where all the cool people hang out. So anyway, this is Steve Sines from Urban Explorers of Atlanta. Just trying to get around.